in the mornings when I wake up, you know, that's when the ideas, that's for some reason I'm a morning person and the task at hand, making a new video clip, a music video, you know, how to set up the cameras, what ideas, uh, yeah, creativity is, is sprouting in the morning, just, just like our plants here. So I'm, I'm just writing down ideas and, and particularly writing. There's a lot of writing in this work, you know, uh, scripts and copy and writing things. And this is where we imagine, you know, the concert we're going to do, the ideas for the visuals. Yeah, this is the, the daydreaming time. Hi, I'm Tim Cole, and I'm standing here right in the heart of Taiwan. It's so beautiful and I'm happy to be here in Nantau. Uh, I'm originally from Australia, from a little suburb called Frankston, on the outskirts of Melbourne. And I met a beautiful uh, person from Taiwan, Babo Chen, and we got married and we've been traveling around the Indian and the Pacific Ocean, meeting incredible musicians and making music films and a concert and music albums. And we live here in the heart of Taiwan and produce and make this music and tour the world with it. Nihaoman 室外的浴室你可以下来这边我们都在这边泡澡这是我们的厕所因为我们的邻居就是香蕉树所以不怕会看到我还记得那时候疫情刚开始我们就从国外回来然后我们本来都是住在我爸妈的小和室打地铺然
Yeah, so on the, on the tour, and the, we'll be bringing the same musicians to uh, Taiwan and to Taipei. Uh, the, we all met each other doing the recording for our latest album, Our Island, which we all done during the pandemic. And so this is where Babo and I were sitting and in Zoom meetings, meeting everyone and coming up with the ideas. And, and this is where I sit and mix the music together and make all the videos. We're really trying to create a relationship of the music and the films to nature. We work with musicians who carry the story of the country, of the land where they're from, in the language they sing, what they sing about, the instruments they play, traditional instruments that have been shaped by living with nature. Uh, I think I've always had maybe an artist's heart or because it never really quite made sense to me to just follow money for money's sake. Like I'd love to be wealthy and, but it really has to have meaning for me and so I really always just followed my heart and when I was like 16, 17 that's, that's what I wanted to do but there were no pathways to do that and I just jumped into it. I, I, got a, I joined a band, I bought the synthesizer uh, the band started playing at venues in Melbourne and I was singing and I learned how to do sound so I could make myself sing better. And all my friends said, oh, you can do our mixing and record our music because you've done the course. So I started doing that and then I passed my certificate and got into Melbourne University doing film, media studies and learning filmmaking. And, and so I just wove all that together, the filmmaking and the music, I was all together. And, I've just always followed that path as a freelance artist yeah. to hear. So the song builds, this is Salalui calling out in this chant and the different musicians come in. This is Em Lin from Mauritius calling back across the ocean from her island. And then also Putad from the Amis heritage here in Taiwan. She plays bass on it. So as the song builds, more and more musicians are called in. I'll go towards the end and all the different instruments. There's from Papua New Guinea. Uh, Richard Mogu plays this kukumba flute, which is from the highlands of Papua New Guinea. I think it's just about to come in. How I came to be working on these cross-cultural like music projects uh, with indigenous artists and just happened you know this musician Archie Roach uh, needed someone to do his mixing and I went to mix Archie Roach and he happened to be Aboriginal and then I went to Papua New Guinea on my first trip outside of Australia with an Australian band called Not Drowning Waving and we spent two months in Papua New Guinea and that really sort of shifted my perspective and I really could respect that this Papua New Guinean music had this heritage that had come through the instruments and the languages were so different to mine that had been shaped, you know, from their culture. I love those two things of working with a craft, with working with musicians and producing music and film and videos as well as working with musicians that carry this depth of, of cultural perspective. I loved working in, the, in that area. And naturally, I just kept getting offered more and more jobs. This MS20 is the first time he bought his own life. Then we just came from Australia, he came from his car in Taiwan for the last few months. Then, in our album, there was a song that the team used to use this MS20. Then, later, uh, 
Yeah, I'll put it in the music. Of art. Yes. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Because Tim, he is, he is will have many points, and many, but he has many on the practical side, very amazing places. He can take a bag and go to the park and go to the park. Many people have no way to do that. Actually, I think if today is a film production company or a sound design company doing this plan, they may not be able to do that. 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 的人合作，因为两个人的机动性就是很高。我们两个人在遇见之前，我们都是很喜欢自己一个人，就是到处背包旅行啊，世界各地这样跑。然后就也很神奇，就是我们两个人遇见彼此之后，我们又很合得来，然后就从来没有再分开，到哪里都是一起。So ten years ago. Oh, uh, actually, what day is today? The second. No, the third. Today's our anniversary. Today is our anniversary. <laughs> They're right. Really? Oh, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> It's no, we, we didn't plan this. No. <laughs> so uh, yeah, so today, ten years ago. Wow. And I was working on the Darwin Festival, running one of the sound systems in the in the botanical gardens. I couldn't miss her. There, there was this beautiful girl wearing high vis, bright orange vest, and I just thought, wow, yeah. And that's that's the that was the first time I I saw beautiful Baba, and I uh, couldn't miss her in the high vis. Uh, yeah, so we were both working on the Darwin Festival. So I, after university, after 我很想要做的事情就是去澳洲打工度假，所以毕业一两年之后，我就一个人买了单程机票，就到了达尔文。那到了那边，然后我就开始找工作啊。投履历的时候就看到有很多的旗子，就是他写说 Darwin Festival。那我看到就觉得哇，这这个 festival 跟艺术啊，跟文创产业就是很相关，是我想要做的事情。然后我就寄我的履历给所有的 email， 过了三四个礼拜都没有发生。然后我的房东他就看我房租也缴不出来，然后已经来两个月都找不到工作，所以有有一天他就跟我说：“哎，那你要不要去我朋友有一个清洁公司，他正在真人。”然后我就只好委曲求全，就是去那边当清洁工。然后我还记得我应征的时候，他就老板就跟我说。呃、uh, ，你的工作就是去这个达尔文艺术节捡垃圾。哇，那时候我就，我就觉得我梦想成真。然后他就，他就觉得很不可思议，为什么去那边那边捡垃圾是梦想成真？结果后来我就在那个艺术节认识了 Tim。You know, I, I sort of, I was at a stage in my life where I'd been working so much as a freelance, you know, music producer and in theatre. I was on the road for 10 years, traveling around the world with a theater group, and I'd never held a long-term relationship. And she came to Melbourne, and at that time, uh, we began our relationship, and we haven't been apart since. I wasn't expecting at all to be changing uh, the way I, I saw my future, and uh, yeah. So, but that, yeah, that was a really strong beginning for our relationship too, you know. The, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. 
the desert and going out to lots of the communities and in the studio, meeting um, lots of Aboriginal you know, musicians and uh, extraordinary. This is me and Tim, and Xiao Jun, and other artists. We went to Wanna Do in 2019. Why did we start the Xiao Dao Da Ge plan? Actually, the main reason is that me and Tim got a case. We went to Wanna Do to do a documentary. Then we went to the local community. The elder saw me and asked me, "Where are you from?" Then I said, "I'm a Taiwanese." He said, "I recognize you." 哦，我知道台湾，因为我们的祖先就是从台湾来的。那当下我听到的时候，我就觉得，怎么可能？你是不是觉得我我我我是泰国？但是后来回来之后，我就上网去查，就就发现，哎、欸，原来他讲的就是南岛语族。我们说从台湾最南到纽西兰，最东边到复活节岛，最西边到马达加斯加，这横跨两大洋的。呃，文化还有岛屿，其实都和台湾原住民的文化紧紧的联系着。那我们在嗯听到这个之后，我们就觉得哇，为什么这件事情没有更多的人知道？所以后来就慢慢就种下了一个种子，就是希望未来有机会能够做些什么。When I heard that the, in Vanuatu, you know, their ancestors came from Taiwan. I mean, it's it just an amazing story, but also, you know, thinking about those cultural connections that opened up this, these possibilities of collaboration and music and cultures and, and just an inspiring idea to do a music project that actually brought together musicians representing all these, you know, the breadth of this, of this heritage, this diaspora. Uh, but at that time, we were headed back to Alice Springs to work at Karma, to work at the Aboriginal Australian Recording Studio. And after two years, the contract was winding up. It was time to think about, you know, what's happening. And and that moment, everything sort of synergized together. We finishing the film, shot in Vanuatu, and also we heard the fifth IPCC report, which spoke about the effects of climate change across our planet. And it spoke a lot about sea level rise and, and the, those islands in Vanuatu were the first to be declared, you know, climate refugees by the United Nations. So we packed everything up. Within a couple of months, we were standing out inside Alice Springs on this desert highway. And we had a vision to what was to become Small Island Big Song. Uh, our problem is we only had about 5,000 Australian dollars in our pocket. Uh, and it was a huge dream, but actually, we just pushed on. Now I'm getting ready to venture out beyond the beyond the confines or the confines, yeah, out out into the world to go downtown to check out the veggies in the shop for dinner tonight. It's, it's about 15 minutes. Right. right. I mean, of course, there there are differences, and like there are a lot of similarities too. Like the same population, although Australia is so huge and and Taiwan is so small, and even that the parts of Taiwan where people live is so condensed. And the indigenous population is the same percentage, you know, two three percent as as Taiwan in in Australia. Yeah. Uh, but then there are lots of differences. Like Australia is a mashup of lots of different cultures and. Mm. And that's particularly something I love, like living in the city and in an area where there's just so many cultures and restaurants and mm. languages you hear, mm. where Taiwan, um, you know, very much is 
these dominant, like the haka that we're here, and, and Taiwanese, the Mandarin, and then the indigenous pop, you know, communities here. Wow, what sort of differences? <laughs> Beautiful river. Ni hao. Ni hao. Ah, my turn. Okay. Yeah, I can put them in. Oh, I'm not sure, just English. <laughs> so, and yeah, th thank you, Shi Shi, thank you. And, uh, oh, Shi Shi, thank you. Bye bye. Yeah, thanks. Bye. Thank you. Ni hao. Hey,我们刚刚才在讲说 然后, uh, 阿婆老家是在苗栗 所以我就透过<笑> <笑>有什麼不好的事情就看到我給他一個音樂人看到就知道有他放心的他說他的廚房本來是在你的倉庫拿過來的<笑><笑><笑> I love to collect thank you how to say thank you in different languages and because I think it's a it's a very honest way to show appreciation of the differences in, unto someone. So how can I say thank you in Hakka? How do you say thank you in Hakka? Mm. Sure. He says he likes to learn thank you in my background is my ancestors um, you know which um they were settlers Free settlers. free settlers on one side of the family, the other side, probably a lot of Australia was the Europeans that came were convicts and brought over um, to, to work and, uh, you know, establishing um, settlements. And, 
At the moment in Australia, these issues are very much in, in the fore as Australia is coming to terms with it in, in relationship to the Aboriginal people and finding ways to heal those, that relationship. But very much I feel like I am Australian, it's weird, like I've been back to England and this is where my, my genes, my ancestry is, but look, I didn't really feel something special there. It was when I got back to Australia, I felt, wow, this is, this is where my heart is. And uh, I must say that my heart is also here in this part of Taiwan at the moment, uh, here with Babao and also, you know, I'm sort of really falling in love with the nature in this place as well. Uh, beautiful place here. I really, I mean, when I saw them first in Taiwan at the night market, I just wanted them as a kitchen, even if it was inside, you know, because I love it that it's all together. Stainless steel is the best to cook on. You know, you can put hot pans straight on it. Uh, but I love it that it's outside, that I'm also cooking outside. I love that our lifestyle, and you can do that in Taiwan too, in Australia, in Melbourne, it gets too cold. But here we can live half outside. And you look at our house, it's very, it's sort of smallish, but we don't feel that. Bobo Wait till they pop a bit, just to get the flavours out of those seeds. And need all those onions. Uh, yeah, thank you. Should share another family dinner <laughs> here over at our house. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, for, for me, yeah, being here and being part of the family, yeah, sincerely. It, it, yeah, like, it's really, it's huge for me, it means very much, yeah. Mm. Oh, 有一個習慣,就是說今天吃巴黎島的就巴黎島,不要混那個什麼墨西哥一進來這樣。You know, I, I, don't, I don't have a lot of money behind me, but I felt nothing but acceptance and support and welcoming and friendship and, and I feel that they you know, believe in what we do, that the work we're doing is a big picture, you know. I mean, it's small, it's us just doing it, it's not through what we can do. Work with musicians to create special music. And I feel, although I'm not bringing the money and these other things which are important and important to many families, I'm still accepted and I feel part of the family, you know, bringing what I can. I think in financial, we don't have to worry about it. Because we have always had to worry about these issues. Eh,就是他们,像波波他们,应该也一直都是这样子。他们即使到国外去,其实都还是一样可以吃苦耐劳。
So a question. Uh, yeah, how was the food? Uh, what do you think? Is it? Nai yang she likes the egg part. Yeah, we love that one too. An chu se. We are going to to recording uh, set up for when we travel. I mean, look, it all fits in here. Yeah. That we can take on planes and... So basically, I have a full recording studio here. Uh, microphones. This is my field recorder. My camera gear. And, uh, stuff you expect. There is a mo monitor. Oh. And just some extra leads, the tripod in here. I always carry the camera around my neck. Um, and my swimmers. And my uh, swimmers, because we're going to be going to the beach. So I definitely go for a swim. Yeah. yeah. Put out they say the wind might be strong tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. But I want to, uh, we may not, I, like, I want to <laughs> make this music video of her in the ocean, like singing this song, the way she does on stage. like just Yeah, the, she's amazing. I will need to bring this bag though, isn't it? Today早上五点半起床，然后六点十五分，我妈载我到南头，然后坐呃共乘计程车到台中火车站，然后在从火车火车站搭火车过来，因为我们自己没有车，Tim之前在澳洲有两台车，然后呃我们为了要坐小
and and showing the links, the shared heritage of these of these people, and the way he was bringing it all together with video, with superb recordings, and mixing all these different elements, I thought was really impressive. So I've seen some live performance of of. Small Island Big Song, which is really impressive. And uh, what's a real privilege now is to be here in Taiwan and to see, to meet some of the musicians who they're working with and to see them on their home territory because seeing this music on stage is one thing, but going to where it, the essence of where it comes out from is, is something else altogether. And that's something I haven't yet done, but I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> Simon, yeah. Simon. Nice to meet you. Great. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. You like it? Yeah, I like it very much. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still finding my way though. And you don't eat fish, how are you? Global Music Match 然后他们可以选企划真的是蛮心动See, what I'm going to go explore right now is what angles I can get with my camera sort of down in there, in this section here. Um, yeah. And I just think in the morning, if when it's... If you want to see the sunrise, I think the best spot is from up house. If you but that, that was a bit more open to the ocean. That was a bit more the waves. It was sort of good that it was open. I just want to, well, the, it was a, like it was more of a big ocean. Well, this is more like a bay. It's a bit more protected here. See, even now you can see it's quite, it's not as choppy as, as it is out there. But tomorrow I'm not sure tomorrow I some way, yeah. even inside. It's too big to film, but you want to slide the water, you can go here. Okay, well, let me right now get in there and get you have some, a try. Yeah, have a try. Oh, yeah. I just will get in with the camera and, and yeah. get some angles. Okay. See, what I thought, if I do one take filming at 240 frames, and then I can speed the film up so it's natural timing and you're singing, and then I can just like slow it down. It's okay, yeah. Do that. You're quite a young man. Uh, she likes, it has a bit of a wave. It's got more character.
<laughs> what is that? Tim, is that you? Yeah, you, you, haven't, you haven't marked your spot. Oh, because he's doing a bad job. I I'm just turning this around. How is it And that's to the side. I'll get you to do something to the side, but I'll get you to splash the camera. Splash my face. Like right across the face. Splash your face. But you're right about the light because it's going to be worse in the morning, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got to get something in to reflect the light. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The plan was to film today, and that's what we're all set to do, but we didn't connect, ask the master, the guardian of the oceans, Butard, what would be best. And she says, in the morning, there's a stillness to the ocean here in this particular place. The sun will be coming up on an angle and cutting through. It's just more appropriate time she felt for her to express you know, herself and connect to the, the ocean. So for me, it's a great chance to do a test shoot and get the camera in the water to see, to find the location, just to see what the background in the ocean's like and feeling confident that tomorrow will be a good time to Freestyle 对。<笑> so the idea is, this is Bhutan. She lives just nearby. This is Amis land, Amis ocean, and she's singing this song about, you know, protecting, uh, about being the custodians of our ocean. And for me, music really connects us to to culture and culture connects us to each other and our environment and to record here you know which is her this is her place her country her land and record this her singing right there in the water the water around her she can show her emotions with the water splashing it she can we can actually rip people's hearts open we have this beautiful ocean here which we need to protect and, and this is the message we want to bring across. But foremost in, in, in the video, I really want to really feature Patard's just on stage. She, she so embodies the song, the sentiment of the song, that if we could find a way just to film it straight on a tripod in a location that has meaning and film her expressing this song. Chin 
音乐家发自内心的一个，而不是演出来的那种东西，就是比较遵从我们就是想要做的事情，对。所以我在唱这个海洋歌是非常非常有感情，对海的感情是非常深。Wow, just incredible. Be that close and the, the, the like. I, I really was tearful. It's her, her performance is just yeah. And, and where we are, knowing that what you know, she's watching the coral bleach on this beach right here, out there. You know, it's a reality. And if we can bring that in her passion, in her. You know, to touch and move people, so it becomes part of their story. We care. We do care. I know we care. Uh, dreams and, and what we'd like to achieve. Well, we would like to have a family, you know? And we want to sort of build a, some foundations and this music project we've been working on. But yeah, look, that would be extraordinary, amazing. Family. And we've got, we've got a clear vision and dream for where we're working and taking our music, which is we want to construct a, a big major theatre piece. And we're working with the people to make that happen and take it to big festivals around the world, you know, with these extraordinary artists from Taiwan, from Dulan here, and with our other musicians and, and touch people's hearts with stories of the earth the oceans, and we're doing that. Yeah. I'll be back, coffee. <laughs> In Taiwan, I'd never imagine that. Like, and <laughs> also that I'd, that I'd meet someone so wonderful and, and the adventures we've been on, uh, which are a bit crazy, which was, and I know COVID has been really, really tough around the world but mm. actually it was nice for us to stop and be in a place that's so safe as Taiwan. Mm. Thank you Taiwan government, Taiwan people for really being managing it well and got a chance to just live here for three years in nature, watch nature change around us, mm -hmm. grow some beautiful veggies, uh, grow our relationship, get to know, spend time with the family, mm. um, plan other adventures. Yeah。<笑><笑> 也祝福你在台湾就是过得非常的自在 Hi Tim I look forward to spending the next few decades with you Happy 10 years anniversary and I love you